hey nail family welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new i hope you all are doing well your girl is back with another video another christmas set my second one of the year if you didn't see my first christmas set check it out it's a video it's two videos previous to this one um but anyway yes we're gonna be doing a christmas set for this video like red and a little bit of this set was inspired by blingy little claws on instagram y'all her work is phenomenal i love her work so much when i saw this set i'm like yeah i have to recreate this some kind of way it's just so stunning i love that set so much so yeah we're gonna be recreating that we're well, not exactly we're gonna be pulling a couple things from it but yes without any further ado let's get right into the video so the acrylics that i'm gonna be using one's gonna be me a secrets cover pink which is this nude right here the other is this red wine um acrylic from dynamic nail supply i'm also gonna be using a red glitter from there a red raw glitter like loose glitter and then i have this green glitter right here that i mixed in this little clear container with the gold lid um i just mixed it with um i believe it was no houses olive they're olive green with some green glitter i wanted like a darker green um glitter and i didn't have one so i kind of like put it together i wish the green could have been darker but it actually worked out perfectly so i'm not mad at it um but yes also i'm gonna be using two gels it's gonna be i think i'm gonna be using two but the ones that i showed was nail houses bloody this red y'all this red is absolutely stunning which you all will be seeing here um soon like it's very no all nail houses gels are very pigmented i love them so much and that red is just beautiful but yes um nail houses bloody and then the other one is valentino's whites number 45 that's what I'm going to be using for this set, y'all. The tips that I have on are always Nail House's 3XL Taper Square Tips. And I'm using their size 16 Kalinsky Brush, as always, paired with their Pro Monomer. And anyone interested in shopping Nail House can find the link to their site in the description below and use my code Portia for savings. Also, I just wanted to, I meant to say this last video. I wanted to thank everyone who used my code for this Black Friday sale. Y'all shot y'all butts off. Like, I appreciate it so much. Um, and I'm glad as well to, like, offer a code for you all. Y'all are always saying thank you. But I like to thank you all as well in return. Because, um you know it helps me as well so again thank you all and i hope y'all got y'all some good nail goodies i'm sure whatever it is that you all order you're gonna enjoy also y'all because i've been meaning to say this the last couple of videos um i told you all that i'm gonna start back pinning you all's comments to like comments first on the videos as well as shouting y'all out so shout out to this person here rue or ro 5037 for commenting first on my video previous to the last one thank you so much as well as two shout out to these people who are first in the premieres makeup is life lulu bay and alicia's fourth child hey y'all hey thank y'all so much um i appreciate you all i appreciate everyone but i just want to give a special shout out to those people who were um there first and commented first so yeah um i'm gonna start back doing that again and without any further ado you all i'm gonna let you all go ahead and enjoy watching this application um as you all can see well pretty much i'm gonna be doing the base of all of these nails nude and we're gonna be doing everything on top we're gonna be doing some poinsettias or one poinsettia um as you all saw in the inspo photo that's what the red acrylic and the green one is for and i'm gonna be doing some other things but yeah everything else is gonna be on top i'm gonna let you all go ahead and enjoy this application part and i'll pop back in in a bit
real quick, y'all, I'm back. So I had to say something real quick while I'm reminded. Um, because someone had asked me recently, um, in the comments on that one nail set that was, um, silver glitter and, like, all the bling and stuff, somebody had asked me in the comments, uh, where I get the Van Cleave charm from. And I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but, um, somebody had asked me that. I'm like, what the heck is Van Cleave? I'm like... She was just talking about the little flower charm or whatever. Y'all, tell me why I had no idea what that was. Um, Y'all, I'm not into, first of all, I'm not into, like, um, high-end, like, designer brands and stuff like that. That is not your girl, okay? And never will be a girl. Um, But anyway, somebody had asked me... Um, Somebody had asked me where my watch was from in the comments on, like, my last, the video that I did, the, the nail set that I did previous to this one, uh, where my watch was from. And I'm like, my watch is from, um, it's an Apple watch. But I think she was talking about the band, because, like, the flowers, y'all, literally, like, I don't know what that, I've never, um, heard of that brand, um, besides the fact of my, one of my subscribers asking me, um, where the Van Cleef charm was from, if I'm even saying that right, on that silver set, y'all, I'm not into that at all, like, to me, that is absolutely crazy, when I looked it up, that brand, like, those, those bracelets and necklaces or whatever, like, the little pendant, whatever it is, goes for so much money, like, thousands of dollars, like, I would absolutely never, um, so, yeah, I just thought, literally, like, my Apple Watch, the little flowers or whatever, and the little charm that I have brought, um, that was from Shein, um, by the way, on that nail was, like, cute, I saw it, I thought it was, like, a flower charm, I thought it was cute, like, but, child, I would never, ever, ever, ever shop designer, like, brands like that, that is absolutely insane to me, um, I've never even heard of the brand before, and, yeah, but, no, I really think it's cute, um, my Apple Watch band that you all see me have on this video, because someone asked me last video, is from Amazon, but, yeah, so, I guess it's, like, um, technically a knockoff, like, I don't really know, I mean, I do know it's a knockoff, I will never, y'all, I will never, it's not real, I will never, okay, I'm just letting y'all know that the Apple Watch band is from, um, Amazon, and that little flower charm, what they call it, Van Cleef, whatever, it was that I put on the silver nails was from Shein, okay, because your girl would never, okay, <laughs> like, have y'all seen that brand before, like, Hold on, let me go back and see. Hold on. So, yeah, I was right. Well, I saw that when I had glanced at the brand when the girl had asked me, like, what is Glen uh, Van Cleef? So, yeah, that brand, those bracelets, those little pendants, whatever, goes for, like, tens of thousands of dollars. The girl will never, okay? So, nah. I just literally saw the flower um one day, a little charm, whatever. I thought it was cute. And it's cute. Like, I would never. I, would, I never understood that, y'all. I never understood people paying that much money for something that is so, like, dumb. Clearly, like... And then I found out that people, like, make knockoffs of them or whatever. Like, I would just never... Literally, I have my own opinion on, like, brands. These high-end brands to sell these dumb little things that you can make or get from anywhere else. And people just put a brand or a name on it and a face or whatever and charge so much money for it. That's absolutely crazy. And, girl, whatever. But I just wanted to say that. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. So, this is how we are looking with application complete. Pretty smooth for the most part. Now I'm gonna go ahead and file the nails. Also, for anyone wondering why I always tell my turn my dust collector to the side, it's because the buttons are touchscreen and I always end up pressing them on accident with them forward facing me. So that's why I always turn it to the side. But yeah, that's my Melody Susie dust collector. I like it, it's a decent. Um also, I'm going to go ahead and use my 8080 grip file. For those of you who are new, I do have a full in-depth shaping tutorial on my channel. Um, it is actually linked in the description below. I do not go in full detail, you know, like in my videos here, but I do have that tutorial if you're interested. I do a few different little shapes in there, and that video is very helpful to a lot of people, so I do recommend it. Um, and yeah, also I do want to mention that the video previous to this one, you all, if you all missed it, didn't catch it, I finally did go ahead and post my nail setup, um, little tour or whatever. Um, I know you all have been asking for a while and I finally did post it. I actually just posted it like an hour ago. Well, by the time you all see this, it would have been a couple days, but yeah, your girl's getting the ball rolling with getting these videos out to y'all. Like, I told you I'm not playing this month. <laughs> I'm not playing. Um, I'm trying to get the content to you all. Um, and like I said, for some reason, like, winter and like christmas nails are like my favorite like holiday nails to do or like seasonal nails to do i love it so and then like i told you all i have not been um as consistent as you all know that i normally am like posting like every other day or so um in a little minute and 
yeah, your girl took a little break and she's back. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not playing. So pretty much, um, I have a lot of things in store for you all. And yeah, check out that video. I love that video, y'all. I love watching it with y'all. I love, um, well, not so much like editing it or anything like that or like filming it because <sighs> your girl's a Virgo for those y'all. Y'all know that. And I'm like a little bit of a perfectionist and I just feel like everything gotta be right. I gotta get the good, you know, the right angles and just everything. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. So I do recommend you all check out that video. It was very helpful as well for a lot of you who always ask me like my organization, um, like how I like keep my products if that makes sense. Um, as well as like interested in just seeing my different like little collections and things like that. That video was um super helpful. And I think it's so cute. I think my little setup is so cute. I love it. And yeah, check out that video. It's the one again previous to this one. I worked really hard on that video for those who's asking for it, like just filming it, editing it, things like that. And y'all, literally last night, I literally was up all night long, um, trying to get that video up, y'all. Y'all, for those of y'all who don't know, I I use iMovie on my iPhone to edit, like, and I never really have an issue like that. Sometimes I do run into an issue, like every blue moon with iMovie. Like sometimes I just act dumb, like I don't want to like export um and upload like my videos, and it's so dumb. But yeah, y'all, I was up all night trying to get it to work, and it wasn't working. So I ended up literally screen recording that whole video and just posting it to YouTube, um, like screen recording it from the iMovie app. If that makes sense, um, y'all. Anyone else have that issue with iMovie sometimes? Like people who use the iPhone to edit, um, let me know in the comment section below, please. But yeah, and it and it's so weird because it's literally every blue moon. And it's like certain videos. It's so weird. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, just go tune into that video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, please. And maybe comment your thoughts and stuff um, for your girl. But anyway, as you all can see, I went ahead and did the like little moon shape on these nails here. Pretty much the moon shape is like giving the nails like at the tips a curve if that makes sense. And I just go in and do it with my e-file. Pretty much as you all can see, I pretty much like kind of like press almost like stab in the bottom of the nail like my like my bit into the nail and then like to make like a little circle at the bottom of the nail and then i go back and forth in an arch motion left and right um until i get the desired like curve shape that i want um it's kind of tough first like trying to do this shape but once you do it a few times you'll get the hang of it and it's not really that hard i'd say like go at a speed comfortable for you i personally like to go at a higher speed like 30 to um go ahead and like hurry up and get the shape and like really make it just like go ahead and like cut the shape if that makes sense um i hope that's sounding right um but yeah go at whatever speed is comfortable for you and just go in a back and forth motion like an arch motion until you get your desired shape and also do not forget to file underneath the nail as well that's very important period i do stress that to you all um a lot especially in my shaping video if you all haven't seen that but like to make sure that you're shaping underneath the nail as well filing underneath just take your e-file go underneath there um to clean that up because it does matter like it does matter to me um for the overall shape as well as the sides too y'all it does definitely matter so yeah um i'm gonna let you all go ahead and finish watching me shape and file these nails and i'll pop back in in a bit Alrighty, y'all. So this is how we're looking, all shaped and filed. I really love this moon shape a lot. I only like it though for certain type of like nails, like certain type of uh sets. I don't feel like it looks right with every single design, if that makes sense. Um, I definitely knew that it would look really cute with this design here. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buff the nails, file them, dust them off, clean them with alcohol, and all that good stuff. Um, and then we're gonna begin the nail art.
all right y'all so for this look i decided to go ahead and i wanted to do like red glitter so bad like to make it like Christmassy and like i just wanted to do red glitter and the regular fringe so bad so um i'm gonna be going in with doing some fringes and i'm gonna be using my nail house liner brush for that the size um 25 millimeter and i'm gonna be using this gel right here again like i was telling y'all earlier it's nail house is bloody like this red is so beautiful y'all and it's literally it's like a tiny tiny shade lighter in person than it is showing on camera but y'all it is so beautiful and you're y'all are gonna see just how pigmented it is like literally oh and this was like the perfect french as well like i don't always get my French is perfect like the first swipe and try like this like yeah it just was this red as well was just like everything with this French like guys look how pigmented it goes on like you only need one coat of 99 or 98 percent of nail houses gels i really say 99 but 99 is pretty much 100 but like 98 percent of nail houses gels you only need one coat that is just how pigmented they are people ask me that all the time you all can see that here how pigmented they are so pigmented um i think I'm also gonna be using no i'm gonna be using valentino for the white but um nail houses white their um her blanco is really good as well but it's never in stock that's how good it is as well as their um her what is it is it called blackout i think her black gel is called blackout but anyway y'all so like i said we're gonna be recreating bling little claw set however i'm gonna be adding like red glitter and just like a few things different we're gonna be um getting inspo from her poinsettia nail which was really gorgeous with that flower as well as um the white sweater but everything else is gonna be a pretty much freestyle how i want it to be um so yeah after i do um after i have applying the red gel which i'm super obsessed with y'all i can't get over how beautiful that red gel is but after having done that while it's still wet i'm gonna go ahead and pour this red glitter over top which i got from dynamic nail supply again um that red is very beautiful i love i love a good glitter y'all i love a good glitter nail a good glitter, glitter french um anyway so then after i do that i'm gonna go in on the pinky doing the same thing but making that entire um nail like that and not a french Y'all, I'm over here cracking up. Like, every time I listen back to the voiceover that I just do, I always hear, like, noise, like, shifting. Y'all, that's me shifting. Because, like, I can't sit still. <laughs> like, I don't know. My arms just be, like, shifting on my lap or whatever. Like, I'm like, girl, what is, what are you doing? <laughs> but anyway, y'all, look how beautiful this French turned out. Like, ugh, I'm in love. I can do an entire set like this. In fact, I can do an entire set with, like, just red glitter, period. Like, with the like full nail if that makes sense like i love it so much um but yeah like i said i'm gonna do the same thing on i'm gonna be creating a full red glitter nail on the pinky y'all look at this gel if y'all don't have this in y'all cart well first of all we're not in y'all cart in y'all collection but it may or may not be in stock i think the last time i checked it was a stock and it was only a few y'all literally and it's christmas time so of course they're like fine she has other reds as well that's very beautiful i think it's um what's her other red names I think it's red bottom and i can't um oh i think it's candy apple so candy apple and red bottom are her other reds but i believe this one only had a few left in stock y'all this red is gorgeous but yeah i'm gonna try to go ahead and take a look at this and hush now <laughs> Alrighty, y'all and that is how that is looking y'all i love it so much like it's very much given christmas and i just love it in general like i love this red one fun fact i like red nails actually i really do like red nails i just don't do them that much which is weird but i used to love um 
in the past i used to when i used to do full sets of myself before starting youtube i used to always have not always but i used to like doing like a red plain set on my nose like always um but anyway so moving on from that i'm gonna be starting my little sweater um designs my little white sweater designs i'm gonna begin with well i messed up on the ring finger now i should have put the top coat afterward um so i'm gonna go ahead and top coat these the nails that i'm gonna be um that need, that need top coating right now um this ring finger one didn't need top coating i needed to paint the french first then top coat it then do the sweater design and i knew that i just i don't know what i was thinking at this moment in time um but anyway uh, the mat that i'm using is dynamic nail supplies is um dynamic nail supplies sorry y'all i've been talking so fast um matte top coat i love this top coat their shiny and their matte top coat is the only top coat that i actually use and yeah i'm gonna begin with creating my sweater design and the reason i told you all that i messed up with putting the matte first i know some people do that some people actually put top coat first then draw their frenches um and that, that helps them with drawing it they say i don't really know because i don't really i'm not to like be like anything i'm just saying i don't have a problem with drawing frenches but yeah some people say that they help them put the top coat first but i messed up i normally will not put it first before um drawing my french and because i wasn't paying attention drawing the french on after already applying the top coat um it was kind of like irritating because you all can't tell right now but like when i drew the french which was no problem really and like begin to fill it in the it wasn't the gel the white gel was not staying in its place if that makes sense at the perimeter of the like the the u part the u shape if that's what i'm if that's making sense y'all like the white began to spread because it was on top of the cure top coat if that makes sense like it began to spread it was not staying in place so i had to go over it over the line a couple times i can't think right now of what i'm trying to call that part but like the u part of it it wasn't staying in place it started to spread so i normally always just go ahead and paint the frenches first then apply top coat afterward i don't know i just wasn't paying attention here but anyway so did that and after i applied the white i went in back with more matte top coat and then now i'm gonna go ahead and do the thumb the same exact way and then i'm gonna draw my french design right on i'm not french design my sweater design right on top
Alrighty, so as you all can see, I've begun drawing my sweater designs, and there's all different kind of ways to draw sweater designs, but this one here is my go-to. Um, also, like I mentioned before, if you are going to be, if you're going for like a 3D sweater design look, you also want to make sure that you go ahead and do your little French and then apply your matte top coat. And then after that, when you begin drawing these lines like this, go ahead and pour your acrylic over top um, last because... If you go ahead and do, like, if you top coat after you do all of this, you're defeating the purpose of, you know, the sweater part being 3D. If you're going to pour the acrylic, cure it, and then top coat everything, that makes sense. So go ahead and do your fringe, top coat it, and then even, even if you want shiny, go ahead and just top coat it. And then do your sweater design over top, pour the acrylic, and cure it. Also, I wanted to mention to you all, because, okay, so you all know how I told you all that I had a surprise for you all. And at this point, I might as well tell y'all because, like, it's not working out how I wanted it to. Pretty much, I was going to do a giveaway for this month. I knew that months ago that I was going to do a giveaway for this month. Um, and, hmm, look, how can I say this? So, pretty much, I placed my order. Y'all know it's Black Friday happened and it's the holiday season. And y'all know, like, USPS and FedEx and everyone is just, like, going crazy right now. They are losing. Oh, y'all. Um... So I just accidentally hit that nail when I was trying to pour this acrylic over top. Um, also, I have got this question before. You are going to be pouring the acrylic over top while the gel is still wet. But anyway, I accidentally hit it with the container. Like, I nicked it a little bit and I tried to fix it. It created a dent. I tried to fix it, but it didn't work out. So I ended up just wiping the whole thing away, which hurt me um, um, during the video. But yeah, I ended up wiping it away and doing it all over again because it didn't it wasn't looking right and then and then when i tried to fix it it was actually fixing when i took my what is that called my exacto knife and tried to like press it down um it was fixing but then i accidentally pressed into a other part of the design y'all so it just was all bad i just not not um knocked it off but i just um wiped it off and redid it so that's how it turned out it is still very very cute the second time around um Anyway, back to what I was saying. I knew that I was going to get do a December giveaway for you all. I always do giveaways around the time of the year, November, Thanksgiving, um, Christmas. I always do. And y'all know I'll be doing giveaways for y'all, like, in general period. But in general period, which I know what I mean. But, yeah, so basically I had ordered... Um, I'm not going to tell y'all pretty much... Hmm. Should I tell y'all what it is? Maybe I should not tell y'all what it is. So... Pretty much, I had ordered something for the giveaway, like a lot of stuff for the giveaway, and I ordered it um, literally y'all two weeks ago, and I'm still waiting for it, um, y'all. It's it's literally for those of y'all who know, you know, it's literally ridiculous right now. Um, sorry, y'all. I thought I had to burp. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, it's literally ridic ridiculous right now for like FedEx, USPS. Um, it's ridiculous for everyone who's ordering right now at this time of the year because like. Um, everything is late now, you know what I'm saying, you're waiting weeks and weeks, I've been waiting two weeks, y'all, and normally I always get, like, um, my packages from this place in days, y'all, like, four days, um, and yeah, it's just ridiculous, so, and then people, and then they are losing packages as well, it's like, I really hope y'all packages don't get lost, because I still want to do this giveaway, and I'm just so irritated, because I was supposed to already have the video filmed and up by now already, like, literally, I ordered two weeks ago, y'all, it's supposed to have been came, I was supposed to been have the video up for y'all, and y'all supposed to have been entering by now and all that. And so it just sucks so bad because I can still do the giveaway, but it's going to be late. And it's not going to... I don't know how late it's going to be either. Like, I keep looking at the... Like, I literally keep looking at the tracking, like, every second of the day to see when it's coming. And, like, there's no update, y'all. It literally is still in the same spot. And it's not even really saying... It just say CA Distribution Center. Does that mean California? Because that's weird because it's in Texas. Like, it's just... It was... It's just so weird, y'all. I don't know what's going on. Um, but I'm really hoping and praying, y'all. I'm really... Y'all hope and pray with me that it comes any day now. I really hope it comes tomorrow. Um, because this is, like, literally killing me. Today is, um... I think today is Tuesday, December 5th. Yeah, today is Tuesday, December 5th. Um, and I'm just waiting, y'all. I'm just waiting. Just waiting, so... And then check this, y'all. This is another thing that makes me, like, really... I'm just so irritated. And it's not the company's fault at all. It's literally FedEx and USPS. Or USPS. It's, in this case, it's USPS. But anyway... From the same place I had ordered um, two weeks ago, I had ordered, uh, I placed another order three days after I placed that order, if that makes sense. And I got that order in the mail yesterday, y'all, and I still haven't got that one. The one I placed three days before that one, like, what is really happening? And I know I have way more stuff in that package than the one that came yesterday. And it's, like, heavier and probably requires more. I'm not really sure, but I just hope that it comes, like, y'all, like, soon, like, tomorrow, because... 
come on, I want to do the giveaway. <laughs> like, it's so irritating. But, yeah, y'all, hope and pray with me. And also, remind me to never shop around this time of the year again. Because, like, it's just stressful. It's just stressful. And it sucks because what I have for the giveaway, it's, like, this season's theme, if that makes sense. Like, and that's all the hints or details i'm gonna give y'all about it because we're gonna be surprised still but like i hope it comes tomorrow y'all hope and pray with me anyway so as y'all can see i've completed my sweater designs now i'm gonna go in with my um or on my middle finger nail and i'm start i'm gonna start the poinsettia nail y'all so like i told y'all before i don't do like immaculate with with like 3d flowers 3d work um with acrylic but i tried my very best here y'all and i guess i kind of showed because it came out like good it came out way better than i expected it to like i did not expect it to come out that good and i have a lot of confidence going into um like whenever i'm doing anything like anything or like any sets um and I had a, I have, I believe that I could do it. I believe, I tell you that all the time. And I tell, like, people close to me that as well when I'm giving advice. When you believe, it's literally already done. Like, if you go in with a negative mindset and thinking, like, I can't do this, I can't do this, like, you will end up not being able to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, manifest whatever it is you want. So, um, I did go into this, like, with hope. I guess I would say not so much confidence, but hope um, that I could get it right. But I really love the way this came out, y'all and again blingy little claws she did hers very beautiful y'all she's really good like she's a go at 3d work i'm not that good like her nose and her 3d work is always like literally perfect i ain't that good your girl gotta practice more like i'll be telling y'all um 3d flowers and stuff and yeah then maybe one day i can be like that but yeah so as y'all can see we're going i'm going in with um emerald that green crystal is emerald um and then the i was going to go in with the same that she had which was the uh, gold crystals it's called orum but i ended up going with um golden shadow instead i have orum crystals but i went, ended up going with go um golden shadow instead because i wanted to use golden shadow shapes i don't have orum shapes so yeah by the way, I did not forget about y'all. I am going to be filming that video soon for you all on, like, crystal colors, crystal shapes, and all of that good stuff, like, sizes and stuff, um, for you all to know. I mentioned that in my latest video, one previous to this one. If you haven't checked it out, go ahead, like I told you all, to go ahead and check it out if you're interested. It was my nail area tour. But anyway, so now I'm going in and creating the poinsettia flowers, the 3D flowers, and I'm using, again, this red from Dynamic Nail Supply. It is their red wine. I love it right so much it's very beautiful and so as you all know like poinsettias have like as you can see like wing little claws did it have like these little indentations in them um so you all gonna see while i tried to remember while it was still wet it kind of started drying fast because i put a little bit of acetone into the monomer and that is a tip as well for you to be able to um so the acrylic can dry a little bit faster and mold when you are doing 3d flowers is to put a couple drops of acetone into your monomer but yeah it started up i tried to remember to before it dried up um fully to go ahead and create the indentations with my exacto knife um but some of them were drying really quick and i had to like press down real hard but be sure to remember to go ahead and make your indentations while the acrylic is still wet and um i've seen some people actually like um sorry i've seen people actually like dip it dip their knife or whatever they're used to cut in the nail um into acrylic so that it doesn't stick and like move the acrylic around that makes sense but i don't really have an issue with it here not really not that much with it sticking just a little but not quite so much at all um only like on a few petals but i'm gonna let you all oh of course also as y'all can see i um incorporated some gold caviar beads that's why i love this set y'all because like i love everything gold caviar beads i just love a beautiful set y'all and she does beautiful work so yeah i'm gonna let y'all go ahead and watch me create these little poinsettia um flowers and like i said i'm so proud of the way these came out y'all i'm so proud um but yeah
Alrighty, y'all. So that's pretty much how the red petals came out. I think they came out so cute. Um, whenever I'm doing 3D like flowers in general, it gets tricky for me when I have to do the ones in the middle. Like I'd be good with the ones on the top and the bottom. As you can, as you, as you all can see, those two look a little better than the rest of them. Um, but whenever I have to do the side ones, like like the ones in the middle, it gets tricky for me. I gotta like turn my finger every which way to try to get the right um angle and pedal for it to look right and stuff but they came out decent like it came out pretty cute i'm proud of them okay so next i'm gonna take this green here um that like i told you all i mixed with olive green from nail house and some black as well i forgot to mention that and some black to darken it up a little bit and some green loose glitter um to get like this green um glitter acrylic that i didn't have so and I'm going to be using it to make the like little leaves. So I'm going to let you all go ahead and watch me do that. After that, I'm going to go ahead and just apply some gold caviars to the rest of the flower where I want them to go. And yeah. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that the 3D brush that I'm using is from, um, it's actually non-Kalinsky. I believe it is. Because I got it from Shein and it doesn't look Kalinsky. It doesn't feel Kalinsky either. Um, but I got it from Shein in a pack of different, like it was like five different now art brushes. Um, I can link them in the description below for you or like 3D brushes. I mean, I meant to say not nail art, but that's the same thing. 3D nail art brushes. Anyway, I can link them um, for you all in the description. I really like these ones here opposed to like, some of the real Kalinsky 3D brushes I've tried. Like, I don't know what it is about um, this one here I like way more. I think it's because, like, it it stays in its shape better than the ones I've used before. It stays in its shape and it's, like, pointy and it's the nice size. Like, it's the nice, perfect size for me. So, yeah, I will link um, the set of them I got in the description below. I'm not gonna lie y'all that flower is beautiful like it really is beautiful it came out um like i said way better than i expected it to like i really really like it um shout out to blingy little claws for the inspo and then shout out to myself for executing it because i didn't think it was gonna turn out like that y'all i'm just be honest um so moving on to the thumbnail i wanted to do like a little mrs toe design i think a mrs toe would be really really cute um and i'm using that same um green glitter that i used uh for the leaves on the other nail with the poinsettia and I'm just creating three little petals to make into a mistletoe. And then after that, I'm going to take that same red that I used for that poinsettia as well and put the little balls in the middle. Now, with the balls, um, and that sounds kind of weird. I don't really know what to, what to call them. But with the balls or the beads or whatever you want to say, the red little beads in the middle, um, pretty much you want to make sure that they are a little bit more on the drier side when you're applying them. And make sure that... Make sure that when you apply them and it begins to like set, um, do one at a time and wait a little while before putting the next one. Otherwise, they'll kind of like bleed into each other and they can't uh, and like kind of like mash together, like mesh together and they won't look like they're separate balls. If that makes sense. Like it won't look as good and clean. If that makes sense. Like just wait a little while for them each to dry individually before you go ahead and add the next one um, so that it can look a little bit better if that makes sense like i don't know really know how to explain it i did a practice nail um of this mistletoe before i actually tried it and i found that waiting for them to dry looks better because my other one like kind of meshed together if that makes sense so yeah <laughs>
All right, y'all. So that's how we're looking so far. And I'm really loving these so much. Like, I didn't want to take these notes off at all. Like, they're so beautiful. But um, now I'm going to go ahead and freestyle a couple of little rhinestone placements on the remaining, um, like, the two fringes. And then I'll pop back in with the final results. By the way, the nails are absolutely stunning without the bling. And you can totally do that. Like, I kind of debated in the beginning um, whether I should put bling at all or not. Because they are so cute without the bling. Um, and for my plain girlies, you can do that because it's still beautiful. But it wouldn't be a set for me, for real, if they didn't have bling. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had to have a little bit of something. So, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. This is how they turned out, y'all. I'm obsessed with these. I love them so much. They're very much Christmassy. Like, I love them. And I love them with even out being, like, holiday, I guess, nails or whatever. Like, I love them so much. Like I said, I did not want to take them off. And also, like I said, they are very beautiful without the bling on the two fringes. Like, I would definitely rock those, like, plain or on a thumbnail as well. Like, without that bling, I would rock it without the rest of it like just the mistletoe and the fl the points of the flower um but yeah y'all these came out really really cute again shout out to blingy little claws for her inspo and yeah i'm gonna be inserting my final footage results right about now if you all enjoyed this video and y'all i love these notes so much they're so cute oh my god y'all they're so cute they're just absolutely stunning if you all enjoyed this video and love these nails as much as I do, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. Don't forget. And if you want to see more bomb content like this, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Maybe comment your favorite nail. I can't decide. They're all so beautiful. Like, I love them. And that thumbnail is like, uh, it's so cute, y'all. So cute. They're so cute. But anyway, <laughs> subscribe to my channel if you have not already for more bomb content like this because I'm coming with it for this month and just period y'all like you don't want to miss it you don't miss what i have in store um and also like i have like i told you all some things in store please pray y'all for me for us that those packages come um like tomorrow i'm gonna be checking when i get off of here i'm gonna get i'm gonna check like tomorrow i they need to come y'all they need to come because like it's come but yes stay tuned and make sure that bell notifications are turned on so that you're notified each and every single time i post a new video and i can't wait to show y'all my next set like i think that every set that i do is my favorite until i do the next one and it's like so crazy y'all this next set i cannot wait to show y'all but anyway you all yes thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye for now